who can say the next mother teresa would be from your family my dear friends my dear young boys and girls today here in the archdiocese of bangalore we are specially observing the occasion sunday to discern and to decide your life's journey in a very special way to pursue the occasion to the priesthood and religious life we are very happy and glad to welcome our beloved archbishop peter machado the archbishop of bangalore who is here with us in order to encourage us in a very special way it will be a wonderful opportunity to know from his own words what this occasion means and how he received the call to the priesthood your grace i would like to introduce to our viewers that how you received the call of god i would say a very beautiful question i would be very happy to say that my vocation was born in my family i happen to be also a good altar boy i used to go for mass every day i am look out for those occasions when you i could serve five that was the seed of vocation that came to me in my family and on the altar as i served your grace there are so many who choose to become priests and religious brothers sisters what is unique in every vocation it's a nice question You know what's unique in every vocation is that God is calling you, that God is choosing you. It's not you choose God or rather you choose to be a priest, but it's God who chooses, has put His sight on you first. You know when you see that figure of Zacchaeus, I saw a beautiful painting. Zacchaeus is sitting on the tree top there, and you know Jesus focuses like your focus lights, His sight follows on him. You know that is the uniqueness of our vocation that God thinks of us. If I were to make an appointment, try to make an appointment with the president of India, Madam Murmu, I don't think I will ever get a, I will get a appointment as such. But suppose that I get a message today or tomorrow to say that the president of India wants to see you, I think that is something unique, very special. So the uniqueness of our vocation is. that God chooses people like us most unworthy unfit but yet as something special you know as our holy father pope francis says every vocation is a love story unless you fall in love with god nothing happens and i don't have to speak about what is love story the youth know about it when they fall in love they everything stops as it were They think of each other. They dream of each other. They want to be in each other's presence, and that is the type of robust sort of uh, unction that comes out of us to say that God is unique, God is special. If God has called me like Samuel, here I am, your servant. Here I am. I would say, and that is the uniqueness of our vocation. They say that God does not call the qualified. but he qualifies the call at times there are youngsters they think that you have to be very well qualified in order to become a priest or a religious nun what do you say on this i think god's way of choosing is something different from our corporate world or type of employment or perhaps any other vocation that we can think of surely as you said God doesn't choose those who are fully qualified. You know, in my case, I must say that you know my size and shape, my height, and many people told me that perhaps you can't qualify yourself as a priest because a priest should be tall, handsome, should be addressing everybody. But then I said, Lord, you have called me. I don't know why, but then I trust in you, and that's how perhaps. I was not very talented, you know. I feel so happy to see many of our youngsters, even our seniors, singing, playing the music, 
giving speeches and they are so much qualified. I didn't have those qualities, but I trusted in the Lord. And somehow, one day at a time, one year at a time as it were, something came out of me and perhaps God chose me not only to be a priest but also to be a bishop, though I don't consider myself worthy for this office. And so it's very true that God doesn't choose those who are qualified, but qualifies those whom He has chosen according to the charism that He has for each one of us. Your Grace, as you have said, you walk the talk and you also practice what you preach. And in the Archdiocese, we are truly uh, gifted to have your charismatic leadership. We look forward always up to you. And especially our seminarians, they look up to the wonderful pastoral uh, leadership that you show to us. In a very special way, I would like to ask, what are the some of the qualities that you have really uh, seen in our seminarians and how you encourage them? I must say that our seminarians of today are much more qualified and much more possessed of resourcefulness, perhaps our times have gone. There was a time that we had just sort of passed a little of our exams. There was nothing more to say. But I admire the seminarians of today. I would say three things I could uh, identify in them. Number one is their commitment. They are young, of course. But when I see them so much absorbed in their work that they are doing, I was told us camp that was held for our boys, altar boys, altar girls, etc. was so much that there is more and more children wanting to come for these camps. That's because our seminarians put their heart and soul of it. Just one example. And there are so many other things, whether it's the choir, whether it's the games, whether it's the programs, they are very, very much committed. Uh, secondly, I said they perhaps are sacrificing much more than our own times. You know, we didn't have the phones, the mobiles, we don't have the instruments. We had just small basic things, but then today there are so many things that to attract and distract the youth. But in spite of all this, that they are sort of given to say that, that they are ready to follow the Lord. I think they are much more sacrificing, much more de de dedicated than our generation. And thirdly, I say that our seminarians are very, very talented. Talented. You know, you see each one of them, there is something that is special in each of them. They can sing, they can dance, they can play the instruments, they are good in maths, they are good in commerce, there are so many subjects. I really feel inadequate. I think if I was in the, if I was in the generation of today, I don't think I would have been so happy because there are so many things that our children and our youth are capable of and that is why I feel our generation or this generation is much more resourceful than our generation and therefore I wish our seminarians well. I am so happy that there are so many of them lively, bubbly, always ready to help and support. May God bless each of them. My dear friends, as you have heard, the chief shepherd, the pastor of this diocese, expressing his courage and concern towards the vocations and especially inviting the young boys and girls to consider this religious life, the life to the priesthood. As he says always, every vocation is a love story. Are you ready to dare? Are you ready to uh, investigate? Are you ready to take on this love story in your own life. Thank you.